All right, can you tell me your first and last name? Steve Cazola. And uh, could you spell it out for me, please? S-T-E-V-E-K-O-Z-O-L-A. All right, good to go. And uh, what's your job title here? I'm the strength and conditioning coach here at Compound MMA Fitness and also the general manager of our Escondido facility. All right, and your hometown? My hometown is uh, Naperville, Illinois. It's about 45 minutes west of Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I just moved here uh, in February uh, to uh, Oceanside, California. Good to go. And do you have a hometown newspaper there? Yeah, uh, we have the Naperville Sun. That's a, uh, probably the most popular newspaper that we have. And then the ones in Chicago, Tr Chicago Tribune, Chicago Sun Times. Those are the most popular newspapers that I've been yeah, known for. <laughs> All right, good to go. So how long have you known Kush? I, I just met Kush actually when he came into the gym. Um, when I became a part of Compound in March, uh, that's when I got hired as a strength and conditioning coach. Um, and I met him uh, at the gym here and we got off right away. Uh, we. You know, we connected right away because we're from Illinois and we live in Southern California together. And uh, he was actually wearing um, an NIU, uh, Northern Illinois University t-shirt, and that's where I graduated from. So I was like, oh, like, NIU, like, why wear an NIU t-shirt here in California? And uh, he, you know, was just like, yeah, I'm from uh, Illinois. And, you know, he, he's always here, man. He's training hard and I'm always here working. And I'm also a professional fighter myself. So I would train right alongside him and I train him. And we always have a great relationship, both in uh, the gym and outside the gym as well. He's a great guy. All right, good to go. So um, as far as you know, like, since you've known him, what, what kind of guy is he? What, what you about? He's a type of guy that, you don't want your son to fight, but you would love your daughter to marry type of person. He is a great individual that um, just is a great example for everybody. When he comes here, he works hard. And even outside, he's completely dedicated. He doesn't, you know, doesn't smoke. Doesn't, I've never even seen him drink or anything like that. He just con conducts himself in a very good professional manner. And uh, it's, it's just something that you love to see because uh, Lately, it, it's hard to find really good guys out there that you can trust and be like, hey, here's something important to me. I need you to protect it. And he'd be one of those guys that I would absolutely trust with uh, my life or anything important. All right. And uh, how is he as an MMA fighter so far? You know, he's really come a long way. He's really started to develop. He's starting to get more creative. He's starting to find his body. He's a, he's a bigger guy. He started, you know, he's a heavyweight. He, when he first started here, I believe he was somewhere around 265 pounds. And now he's leaned up to a nice, like, 220. And uh, I think his next fight, we're going to have him go to light heavyweight, so try a different uh, division. And he's learning his body. He's becoming more functionally strong. He's becoming more flexible, more creative, putting his combinations together. He's found his wrestling back. His, you know, the old, his old wrestling skills are just coming back. His jiu-jitsu is getting better. He got promoted to a blue belt about a month ago. So he's coming along, and that's just strictly due to his hard work, his dedication, and uh, the, the staff. We have a great coaching staff here, and that's what's been able to develop him as a fighter. How dedicated is he to MMA and how has he shown that? He would be here all the time, 24 hours a day, if he didn't have any other obligations. I truly believe that. Um, I know that he would like to make this his uh, job one day, which is phenomenal. We fully support him in any endeavor that he follows through. And he, he just he loves it. He loves the sport. He loves being with the guys. And he just loves the whole family aspect of it that we bring to the table here. All right, good to go. And how important would it be uh, for an MMA fighter to actually have a coach, how important is that job to him? Oh, it's, a, it's essential to have a coach. You got to have somebody who can conduct your practices, what you're doing, you know, and, and the many aspects. And the thing about mixed martial arts, it's mixed. There's multiple, there's a, a tons of variety of disciplines. And that's why we have uh, multiple coaches. John Rizzo is our boxing coach. Sean Lafo teaches MMA, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I handle the strength and conditioning. Uh, John Schultz handles the Muay Thai. So we need all those variety of coaches because they all have their special disciplines. We're all very educated in martial arts. We all love the sport, but we all have our special, special areas that uh, we really focus on. So having a coach and having a leader, somebody to be a good example for, that is, it's essential if you want to go anywhere with it. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add? Support Kush. I mean, he's, he's a wonderful person, and uh, he's going to go far just because of his hard work and his dedication, and he's in the right area. He's, he has the right team and the right people around him. So 